All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the fitting takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Really making good use of this reach advantage there with that punch. Lands a big right hand early. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Superman punch now. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice kick. Oh, how about the right hand from Francis Ngannou? It's hard to watch. I can't imagine it feels off. You watch Francis put out an entire generation of heavyweight that came before him. Put out over three. Beautiful kick down land. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Francis Ngannou. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, you know, I don't like the knee very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> 26 total strikes have landed for Francis Ngannou. Nice punch here. Oh! Huge right hand! Do you believe it? Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. All right, the official decision is inside the octagon. That's where we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going south in this contest at three minutes, nine seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Francis the Predator Ingano. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.